What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Pokemon Masters EX video. My name is Charlie, and this feels like the week of Sync Grid videos, but <laughs> we're going to get into uh, 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 Serena and Whimsicott's uh, moveset, Sync moves, um, Sync Grid builds, uh, team builds, lucky skill, all that sort of fun stuff for you guys. Uh, so I've got it pulled up over here. So I'm going to be looking this way. Alright, so first things first, it's a tech type, uh, with, uh, or it's a tech roll fairy type, weak to poison. And for theme skills, you're going to get uh, fairy and Kalos. And now, when it comes to the stats, you have, uh, at level 130, you're going to have an HP of 587, attack of 293, defense of 190, special attack of 360 and a special defense of 167 and speed of 363 now with a uh, special attack at 360 you can actually use uh, whimsicott as a special striker even though it is a tech unit uh, and it's a really good tech unit it's a really really good unit you guys uh, so we'll get into it uh, right now when it, uh, the move set uh, so we've got moonblast uh, of course, we're very familiar with Moonblast from some of the other Fairy-type units. And Gloria. <laughs> uh, 99 power, 100% uh, accuracy, 3 gauge move. Uh, against a single opponent, has a moderate chance of lowering the target's special attack. Uh, so very nice. Uh, Stun Spore. 90% accuracy, 2 gauge move against a single opponent. Uh, leaves the target paralyzed. Uh, but that actually, if you guys see the last passive skill up there, you'll see it's Go Viral 9. So that Stun Spore actually becomes an AoE attack. Uh, so it's an AoE Paralysis. Uh, Cotton Spore. Accuracy 100% against, uh, with two, uh, two move gauge, move, uh, AoE attack, uh, sharply lowers the target speed. So it's an AoE speed lower stat reduction. Uh, so really good. Uh, we also have Sugar Rush, which is the trainer move. Raises the user's special attack. Sharply raises the speed of all allied sync pairs. And applies the free move next effect to the user. So you can use Moon Blast or Stun Spore, Cotton Spore, without it affecting the actual move gauge. So your other sync pairs can use a move immediately uh, without any cost of hindering them uh, from being able to attack or... You can save it for your Moon Blast. There you go. <laughs> now for the passive skills, we already talked about Go Viral 9. Really good. Uh, one of the things that Sugar Rush does is increase your speed, which is really good because we have ramming speed. The more the user's speed has been raised, the more it powers up moves. We have Hunter's Instinct. The more the target's speed is lowered, the more it powers up moves. So that goes with uh, uh, Stun Spore and... Uh, cotton Spore. Uh, cotton Spore, you, you keep lowering their uh, speed, and you'll be able to power up your own moves. So, Moon Blast just will hit really, really hard. Uh, and so the Sync move. Uh, you, it's the Semi-Sweet Fairy Beam. Uh, power of 200. Of course, if you become 6-star EX, it will be a 1.5 multiplier to that damage, uh, because of it being a tech unit. Uh, against single opponent, this move's power increases if the target is paralyzed, which, using a Stun Spore, you'll AoE Stun Spore everybody, or AoE Paralyze everybody, so you'll definitely be able to do that. <laughs> and so, uh, for a lucky skill, it depends on how you want to use Serena and Whimsicott. Um, Critical Strike 2, if you want to focus on her being a strike unit, or Vigilance, if you want to focus on her, uh, just being a tech unit and someone that can take a few hits uh, and save your striker from getting those hits. So that's really, you know, the two that I would recommend for her. Now, as far as a team build go, you can also, you can use Dawn. We're going to go over Dawn's um, uh, Sync Grid in another video. And uh, she's really good as well. Uh, but they work really well together. You can use 
uh, Whimsicott on uh, a team with uh, Cygna Suit Cynthia, uh, where Cygna Suit Cynthia is the main striker because Cygna Suit Cynthia has uh, buffs to her damage when the target is paralyzed as well. So it goes well with the Sunspore AoE attack uh, because her attack is a 4 gauge AoE attack. <laughs> She's really good. These two are going to be teamed up really well together. Uh, as far as other fairy type units, I'm trying to think. Who, who's other fairy types? Uh, Comfy would be good. Uh, Rabombi would be great. Um, as far as healers go, uh, of course, Skyland Swana, always really good. Uh, Rabombi, again, really, really good. Uh, comfy, really, really good. Mm. Yeah, I think that co it covers a pretty good amount. Like, the usual healers and supports would be really useful for uh, Serena, especially if you're using her as a striker. Uh, especially with um, Skyland Swana, because you're raising that speed up even more so that you'll be able to hit really hard with uh, Moonblast because of ramming speed. Uh, so it works out really well. All right, now with that being said, let's go ahead and hop over to the Sync moves, uh, the Sync Rid. Uh, this is the one out of five Sync Rid for Whimsicott. Uh, we just go ahead and grab all the MP refreshes that we can get. Uh, Stun Spore and Moonblast. We uh, power up Moonblast a bit. We grab Antitoxin uh, because it would be more beneficial in the majority of times uh, not being able to get poisoned as opposed to having your special def uh, special attack lowered with Dauntless, so that's why I chose that. Alright, we'll go ahead and move on to the next one. This is our first 2 out of 5 build. Uh, this one is the tech uh, support build essentially tank build we're grabbing all the defense uh, nodes that we can get the health nodes that we can get HP uh, special defense defense we are also getting stun spore troublemaker one raises the chance for status moves to inflict that uh, that that inflict status conditions uh, uh, oh another really good of course another good uh, lucky skill would be troublemaker uh, just to increase that uh, ability to uh, paralyze, all that sort of stuff. So there you go. And uh, grabbing that Stun Spore Move Gauge Refresh, the Sugar Rush MP Refresh, and Cotton Spore Move, ga move Gauge Refresh. Alright, move on to the next one. This is our Striker build, slash Sync Nuke build, without it being a Sync Nuke build. For uh, Whimsicott, we have Inertia. The higher the user's speed, uh, the more it powers up sync moves. Clearly, it's really good for uh, someone that increases their own speed. Having Skyla and Swan on your team increases your speed as well. So, again, works out really well. Uh, Dauntless, so that our special attack can't be lowered. Speedy Entry 1 raises the user's speed when you enter the battle. And uh, we grabbed up all the special attack nodes that we can grab, including that special attack plus 10 down there. Really nice. And the Moonblast move gauge refresh. Moving on to the next one. Uh, this one is the 3 out of 5 uh, striker build. Uh, again, we're grabbing the Moonblast. Grabbing some speed uh, over in the upper left hand corner. This is what makes this ridiculous. Moonblast unhindered uh, when the Pokemon's uh, when the Pokemon attacks ignores damage reducing effects on the opponent's side of field of play. Whimsicott can absolutely destroy in legendary arenas that are weak to fairy. I mean, maybe even not weak to fairy. Like you might be able to run this against, uh, like especially like an Entei. Uh, someone that, a legendary arena that has just a single opponent, really, really good here. Very, very good. Again, with Inertia, Dauntless, Speedy Entry. And you would definitely want to uh, have Skyla and Swan on your team to increase your speed, to do more damage with ramming speed, and with Inertia. 
but again, it's not a a uh, sync nuke build, but powering up your sync move does help out quite a bit. Moving on to the next one. This is the three out of five uh, sun build for being a tank. Again, take these as templates and switch them around to how you want to. You could do a sun build for Moonblast, but uh, I think it works more effectively when you're trying to be a tank and an actual tech unit. <clears throat> uh, so again, we've got the Stun Spore Troublemaker 1. Down in the bottom right hand corner, we've got Healing Sun. Restores the Pokemon's HP when it takes an action while the weather is sunny. We have Solar Shield. The Pokemon is not affected by status conditions when the weather is sunny. And Speeding Sun 3. Quickly charges the move gauge when the weather is sunny. Uh, so for these kinds of builds, you would want to have like Blaine and Rapidash or um, uh, 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 Silver and ho uh, for their abilities to do uh, Sunny Day, uh, just to make this all work really well together. Uh, but yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Moving on to the next one. And this is the Sync Nuke build. Uh, again, we have Inertia, Dauntless, Speedy Entry. We have Haste to connect to our uh, uh, Semi Sweet Fairy Beam Power plus 25 in the bottom. And then we have the other one on top. Uh, and we grab the Special Attack plus 10 just to power up our Sync moves even more. So, yeah, guys, that'll do it for uh, Valentine's uh, or Palantine's, <laughs> depending on, I guess it's a Passio thing. Uh, Serena and Whimsicott. Let me know what you guys think about uh, Serena and her sync grid down in the comment section below. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you have not already so you never miss out on any of my daily Pokemon Masters EX content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later guys.